Hey, what's up investors? It's Juan Pablo, the People's Mentor, and I have a question for you. Every single day, I have investors coming up to us, asking us pretty much, hey, uh, I have a hard time finding the right multi unit in the right places. Or hey, Juan Pablo, hey, 100% Finance, I have a hard time understanding the right multi unit property to invest in. So I have a question. What if I told you that we can actually help you acquire a multi-unit property in which you own it 100%. That's right. We actually have clients in which we acquire multi-unit properties for on a regular basis. And by the way, guys, this is the same exact formula that we use at 100% Finance in which we were able to grow our portfolio on a regular, consistent basis. They actually pay us to do the work for them so that we can find the property that fits their needs as an investor. Needs meaning they want a cash flow and rental property, multi-unit property, not just a single family. They also want a cash flow and rental property, not just single family, but multi-units in a area that has decent returns. Last, they also want a cash flow and property that's in a safe neighborhood with potential for growth. Now take Dwayne Foster for example. After he joined our program, he was able to double his initial investment after going through our entire process. Or take Dewan Brown for example. His first deal with us was a seven unit property, which produced enough cash flow for him to say goodbye to nine to five. Yes, he actually quit his day job. And now he is raising capital on a consistent basis to the point he reached out to us and said, hey, I wanna be able to do another deal, but a bigger deal this time, because now I was able to successfully raise $200,000 from private money, right? Or take Melvin Jones, he closed on a four unit with us, and after the four unit, he reached out to us, because we do extra interviews with everyone just to go over the good, the bad, the ugly, the numbers of their deals, and so forth, but see what their investment strategy is, because we actually care about our clients. So we reached out to Melvin, and he said, hey, so what is your investment strategy moving forward? And he says, well, you know, the first deal was sweet, but I still have additional capital. I have another 30,000 at my disposal. Do I, can I do another deal or is there any season requirements? Do I have to wait? Absolutely, you can do another deal. You don't, there's no season requirements whatsoever. You're a real estate investor. You can buy deal after deal after deal and we'll show you how to do it. So now he's in his second deal and he's expected to close by the end of this month, which is sweet, right? And last, take Corey Purvis. Now Corey, don't get me wrong, sometimes there's hiccups in real estate. Not everything's gonna be all peachy and sweet and clean uh, process, right? Sometimes there's some hiccups. Why? Because you're dealing with multiple people. You might be dealing with the agent, you might be doing the seller who may drag his or her feet, the attorney, you might find out that there's issues with the title work. So not every deal is gonna be sweet. So the first deal that we got for Corey actually fell through, right? He was he's buying a, a piece of a portfolio. The seller wasn't able to meet our demands because our demands in our program meaning our criteria for investing are pretty strict, right? And if we see something that's not right and we try to negotiate on your behalf and the seller's unwilling to compromise, it's a no deal. So it happens, right? So that deal fell through. However, we were able to salvage Corey's capital so that way he didn't really lose any money per se and fit him in another deal in which he owned it all by himself and he closed as well, right? So that's pretty much how it goes with our clients. You see, when it comes to investing in multi-units and after surveying hundreds of investors in our community, right, we've discovered that most people struggle with the following. Financing, right? They don't know where, how to finance their deal pretty much. Deal analysis. They also don't understand the credit aspect that plays a major role in, in acquiring a multi-unit property. The capital that's needed to invest. And more importantly, the network. They didn't kiss all the frogs to find the right prints. Who's the best uh, property inspector to use or the closing attorney to use? And last and certainly not least, they struggle with the know-how, the step-by-step -step process to bring a deal from getting on the contract to signing off on the closing table. And it actually pains me to see this because it's actually very easy to find the funds following our four-step process. And finding the funds, the money, is the first step in this process. So let me share with you a four step process. We call this the cash flow cycle. Number one, finding the money. That's from the down payment, soft costs, closing costs, reserves, the whole nine yards. Number two, finding the deal. That's pretty much looking at a lot of deals from various sources, whether that's from 
listing services or from agents or from wholesalers or direct mail campaigns, getting a bunch of deals coming in in which you're doing the analysis. You're writing offers. You're negotiating back and forth to the point you get on the contract. Step three, performing due diligence. So once you have this deal in the contract, you gotta make sure that everything from the roof to the basement gets inspected. So you can use that as leverage when negotiating. And not only do you inspect the property during this phase of due diligence, which is phase three, you also perform due diligence on the financials. How do you know if those leases are legit? They could be fictitious, made up, because the seller is motivated to sell. How do you know if the taxes are correct? Or the water bill is correct? Because maybe there could be a sewer line break, right? In which the, the seller is losing a ton of money, but it's trying to put some makeup or band-aid on it so that you know, you'll, you'll buy this lemon that he or she is trying to sell you. Right, so performing due diligence is so important. It's one of the most time consuming and meticulous part of this process. And the fourth step in this process is closing the deal. That's when you secure property management, you review the HUD for accuracy, you make sure you coordinate the keys, get any hard copies of leases that you may need, service contracts, the whole nine yards, and you get the keys in hand and you celebrate your success. Now, this is something you'd be interested in, so that way you can avoid wasting time and prevent yourself from losing tons of money by doing it by yourself, then let me share with you how it works. Step one is very simple. Just apply for the program. Step two, after you apply for the program, and if we see that you're a good fit for us, and the same thing in reverse, if we're a good fit for you, we will reach out to you to ask additional questions so that we can understand you, your investment strategy, and your business to see if it's something worth pursuing. And step three, after you apply and we ask those additional questions and you qualify for the program, then we'll begin to proceed with that four step process so that we get you a cash flowing multi-unit property in your portfolio. These steps alone, once followed correctly, will literally change your life overnight once applied. So I hope I was able to shed some light in your life today. And by the way, this is completely done for you. We do all the work for you. Now, if you would like us to acquire a multi-unit property for you using the same four-step system I just outlined and which we've used to help acquire our million-dollar multi-unit portfolio, then all you have to do, my friend, is just click the link below in the description to apply and learn more. And by the way, if you're a good fit for the program, a team member of ours will be reaching out to you. All right, guys, as always, this is to your success. Continue to earn passively, live passionately. Peace.